Hey, are you working in Power BI or Fabric and you're trying to understand all the stuff that you've got loaded and running or not running or like how many reports do you have? How many semantic models? Like all that stuff can be like really hard to figure out. Like you could use the admin APIs and you could build out this whole appliance to like understand what's out there, but like not everybody has that in place. Well, I got some great news for you. In today's video, I'm gonna show you some new functionality inside of Fabric that allows you to see all of that and much, much more. This is some really cool things that is that you can start using right away. And there's some things that maybe you're missing or we hope show up in version two. All right, ah, can't wait to get into it. All right, do the whole YouTube thing. Like, subscribe, leave a comment, all that good stuff. If you want early access to this stuff for as little as $5 a month, you can become a member and get early access into all these videos. Okay, so this is all because we've got this amazing new bit of functionality inside of Fabric called One Lake, okay? So One Lake is where all of our content is in and managed. It's up here in your toolbar over here and it should be the, your, the first thing that's available for you. So when I click on one like, I'm gonna get access to, I'm gonna see all of the content that I, ha that I have, that I can go in and I can see right inside here. So it's gonna start with a granular view. And from here, there's lots of things I can do when it comes to like uh, analyzing the data, deleting it, renaming it, downloading, all sorts of stuff is available like right from the action page. This is the year explore. This is where you actually like do something with your data, okay? So that's the first page here. But what we got is this, we just received this brand new functionality called govern, okay? I'm kind of excited about this. And when you click on it, the first time you click on it, it's gonna take a little bit to like gather these stats. So just be aware it's not gonna pop up as fast as you just saw right there, but I am live, right? Like this is no like, this isn't a, a, a this isn't some like video or play that I've got in the background. This is actually oh, <laughs> I broke it. <laughs> this is a live demo, right? So uh, I'm, I'm showing you how this works and operates. But I can see inside of here, and this is kind of cool. Let me zoom right. All right. So first things first. I get a high level overview of all the content that's inside of my uh, my environment that I have access to, okay? So I've got access to eight different domains. That's the macro organization, 48 workspaces. That's like the next step down. And then uh, 486 items that are out there, okay? So this is what I manage in my uh, demo environment, 486, boy. That's been a lot of work, but this is this is what I have access to, okay? Now, the next layer, and you can't really go into this, the next layer actually shows you the items by type that you own. So as you can see, uh, like uh, I'm an analyst by heart, right? Like I, I have lots of semantic models I've got out there uh, and I apparently I'm not well engineering it because I should have more or I should have more reports. I should have uh, semantic models, but actually do lots of deployments of semantic models. That's why I actually have more semantic models and reports because demos and stuff. Um, uh, but here's my reports. Here are things that it hasn't yet grouped by. Oh, uh, that's interesting. I don't know what that is, uh, but I've got data marts. I've got snaps, notebooks, lake houses, copy jobs, and you, there's actually a scroll bar. You can go in and see all sorts of other things that are deployed in your environment. Okay. As we go through, we can look at, oh, and look at this one. Items you own by last refresh date, right? So, hey, here's the good stuff that you have. Here's the stuff that's kind of been broken. And here's the stuff that you can kill. So these are things that have been not refreshed in over four months. You don't need to have this around, right? Like you could probably put a big X through all of these things, right? Um, now, uh, this is my demo environment, so I have lots of static things that are out there. So, you know, that's just kind of what it is. But if you're running this inside of an enterprise or a company, that's a good place for you to look look at, all right? 
And then, oh, look at this. This is a big one. Items with descriptions, okay? So these are things that are properly labeled and have descriptions on. Those are those assets that you're using and doing right. So 12% of the stuff in my demo environment is done right. 88% is done wrong. Well, or not properly governable. So, okay, hey, you know, that's, that's fair enough too. And then the last item here, uh, I'm just going to kind of slide this over so you can see it, uh, is items by lax, last access date. So you can see, like, what is the stuff that you're using all the time? What's the stuff that you sometimes use right here? And what's the stuff that aren't just really being used anymore, right? Again, this is probably a big chunk of stuff that can, can, could kind of go inside of your organization, right? Now, not necessarily something that, you know, I'm going to do in my demo environment, but, you know, and you don't necessarily want to kill everything that hasn't been used in four months, but maybe take a look at it, all right? You know, this is kind of cool. Okay, high level, great. But let's take a look at this view more item, okay? If I click on view more, it goes into a whole analytics workspace so I can see more information on it, all right? So I can actually see my breakouts, right? So here's the information that I had before. If I scroll over, I can actually see like the breakouts. Oh, and look at this. And this one is, oh, I don't have a way to blow it up, so I'll just zoom in. But I can look at all the items broken out by the domains and how the workspace is being used, what type it is, right? Like I could do a root cause analysis, understanding where I've got my biggest things I could update and fix. Right, uh, as I scroll down, I see more details on that those items by type, right, in a better visual. Uh, here's that last refresh thing. Uh, items last, oh, look at that. <laughs> the only things I'm not refreshing are like my old honk and semantic models out there. So actually that makes sense because I've got well-engineered solutions I, tr I strive for, so that's cool. Uh, more details here and then we get into like Hey, how are you integrating with sensitivity labels? I don't have that in my demo environment, right? Um, uh, yeah, unlabeled, unlabeled, more of that. That's more if you're using labeling. And then look, I've got three master data sets. I've got certified promoted. Oh, I mean, this is, all in all, this is pretty cool. Uh, you know, you can actually see lots of information about this stuff inside of your one leg, all right? Now, to me, this is an awesome addition to one lake. So you can, you know, you've got your action tab where you do things. You've got your analytics tab that allow you to review the things inside your space. Now, I think there's one critical thing that's missing in here. That's the connection between the two, right? So, um, uh, especially from the analytics over to the action, back to that action space, right? Like, okay, great. I can see I've got all these things I haven't refreshed, but what are they and how can I easily connect to them? I don't have a way to do that with this new functionality, at least not that I can figure out. Um, uh, so I'm hoping that comes out in the next round of this solution. Uh, but this is something that's pretty cool. That's just out there, relatively new. So it's in preview, lots of opportunity for enhancements and, and fixes. So I like, hey, Let's get some ideas out there for like getting that action functionality added in here. I would love to see that because that's that would tell the complete picture from my aspect of how this should function and work. If you have other ideas, put those in the comments down below or or like hit me up on X or over on LinkedIn, you know, and we can talk about it. You know, do the whole, you know, like subscribe thing. I really do appreciate it. Uh, and members, you know, we're growing. We've got a community of 10 of us now. There's 10 members. <laughs> uh, become a member and uh, help support the channel, the stuff I do, all the lights, all the subscriptions, all this stuff. Uh, you know, it costs a little bit of money. It's okay. It's fun. I enjoy this stuff. But you know what? A little bit of help would be appreciated. You know, buy me a cup of coffee, basically, you know, uh, is what that boils down to. Um, but as it is, regardless of any of that stuff, if you're still watching this, Hey, thank you. I really appreciate it. 
But I gotta say, I really hope you, even if you're not watching this, this is for the people who didn't watch it, but I hope everyone has the best day ever. Peace. All right, this is a lot. I get it. There's so much that goes on in fabric, and this could be a lot for organizations to take on. If you need help, head over to bakertilly.com slash digital, fill out the form, and myself, or one of my coworkers most likely, we'll reach out, we'll get connected, we'll help you out, we'll get you through this stuff, it's all right. But if you think you can do this yourself, and I know you can, check out this video or this video.